Hey guys, what's going on? Where you been? Where have you been? Been looking in every bar in town and I have not seen you, any of you. That's probably a good thing though because you don't need to be in them bars. No, you don't need to be in them bars at all. Did you guys, did you, do you know what the midget said to the tall blonde guys? Yeah, the midget. You know what he said to, to the tall blonde? God, your your hair smells nice. I apologize for that one, guys. I, I really do. I apologize. But you know, Sleepy Joe would probably like that. You know, because he's quite the little sniffer, you know. That boy's quite the little sniffer, isn't he? Can you believe what's going on, guys? We pay these people salaries for, for, for what's going on here. It is flipping scary, isn't it? Ooh. You know, I'm not this brain here. This isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, okay? But if it gets it, what does that say to the rest of the people on planet Earth? We got, you know, did you see our fearless leader the other day? You know. Oh. Is this embarrassing to you? Does it embarrass you guys at all? Like it does me. The leader of this, the best place on the planet to be. The leader, our leader. The best place on the planet Earth, and we have a leader like, wow, oh well, oh, got my second PSA reading, yesterday they drew the blood, boom, half hour ago jumps up on my computer, results, PSA zero zero and I've got a good hunch guys I do it's my lifestyle okay it's my lifestyle because I'm on a lifestyle that doesn't feed cancer okay it doesn't feed and keto carnivore once you flip over that you would not believe the laundry list just about every issue known to man is because of the standard American diet that Nancy and Joe are on. Yeah. No wonder they can't think clearly and get anything done. It affects the brain. This high sugar intake. Just look at them. Every time you turn around, they got an ice cream cone in their face. Right? You can't eat that stuff. Do you know it's a fact... And honey is included on that little list. Yeah. Honey, God made for mankind as a medicine, not a food. It's sugar. You could, you could just go ahead and take a big, oh, oh, honey's so healthy, it's so wonderful. No, 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 no. It's healthy and wonderful for the honeybees. Yes. See, I learned a lot of stuff from this right here. You see that? You see that? Okay. All right. Yeah. See? You, half the time, you guys don't even need to go to church. I don't go to church, guys. No. I don't go to church. Actually, uh, I don't feel I don't need to. Because I'm connected with... Yeah. And actually, my church pew is 22 feet up a tree. I haven't been up in one in a while, though. 22 feet up in a tree overlooking a deer run with bow and arrow. Anyway. Yeah. Isn't that something? What is going on in this country and the corruption and the greed and the nonsense? If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. To hell with the doctors, guys. Hell with the doctors. You be your own healer of yourself. Heal yourself. Eat a, car a keto carnivore diet. You will heal yourself. If you don't believe me, try it for 90 days.
If you're really sick, go on a lion diet. What is a lion diet? It's meat, salt, and use Redmond salt, by the way, to taste, and water. Three ingredients. If you were talking to Joe, he'd say it's three ingredients. No, Joe, it's three ingredients. Try that. You're going to find out that I'm not full of it. Look closely. They're hazel. They're not brown yet. Okay? All right. I don't want to get on your ass here. I'm just giving you a little heads up what's going on here. All right. It's amazing, isn't it, what's going on? These people are something else. We've got to stop listening to these people. And do you know, guy, guys, why wicked, wicked, nasty Nancy doesn't wear panties? You didn't know that, probably. Because she gets a better grip on her broom. Nasty Nancy, which Nasty Nancy gets a better grip on her broom. Yes, that's true. It is. All right. Let's, I know your pressure's going up right now. I, I understand. Yep, your pressure's going, I need to stop because I, you know, I don't want to hurt you, you know. I don't want to hurt you. Um, been, the reason I haven't seen you guys is I've been busy. I've been trapping, running trap line. I've seen a big old hog footprint in my bait pile this morning. It's been deer. Just stomped with deer, right? Turkeys stomped this morning. Hog track about that big. Yeah, I'm going to set, I'm going in in the morning, going to bait again, set my camera up, and uh, get her done that way. But I've been, I've been catching and skinning critters and, and selling meat and all that. So, yeah, I've been a busy boy. And I've come up with a bait I wanted to show you guys. It's very simple to do. Uh, yeah, very simple. I'll have to show you this. Steve, Dr. Steve-O has got to get his gloves on here. Yeah, I'm going to go into surgery right now for you. Dr. Steve-O. Please come to the operating room. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here, guys? I hope I get this camera angle right. I can't see behind the camera. I'm just guessing at it. Little Mr. Quaker Oats here. This is another one you don't want to eat, guys. Use this as bait. When you start chewing on this stuff, guys, everybody says, oh, this is, what does it say? Oh, yeah. Oatmeal can help reduce cholesterol. See, why aren't these people sued for false advertising, guys? I don't know. Maybe they're hooked up with Joe. I don't know. All right, we're going to give a little oats here. These critters, guys. I just came farting around with this recipe here. Then you steal an egg from your chicken house, right? You drop that baby in there. Yeah. Save your bacon grease. Keep it in the fridge, though. You don't want this stuff getting real rancid on you. I was just making bacon in my thing. That's about enough bacon grease right there. Yeah. Yeah, baby. El Cheapo Sardines. I wouldn't eat these, but eat the ones with a good uh, extra virgin olive oil in them. Use these for critter bait. Dump that in there, right? This is going to be beautiful. Here, by the way, is your bait tray. Save this for your bait tray. You pack it in to put in your live traps. This is beautiful, guys, I'm telling you. Man, I've been catching the fish. 
you you can catch anything with this. I even meant, the crows even love this stuff. I pre bait the traps before sun goes down, right? Friggin' crows are all over this stuff. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You can catch you can catch skunks, you can catch coon, you can catch bears, uh all kind of stuff. You can catch house cats with this stuff. Mix her up, guys. Now, if it's too soupy, whatever, this is going to be perfect consistency right here, guys. If you don't wear rubber gloves, your hands are going to stink like heck, and Miss Daisy's able to chase you out of the house, okay? Matter of fact, she said... I was doing this in on the kitchen in the kitchen mixing this up. She came in there and she said, Whoa, stop what you're doing. I said, What's the matter, Miss Daisy? See, I'm a trapper. I'm used to these smells, right? Miss Daisy is not. She said, You're going to stop, cease and assist now. I said, Yes, Miss Daisy. See guys, it's better to just agree to agree with your, your lover there, because if you don't, uh, life just turns to crap for you, okay? All right, so what you do here, you fill that baby up like that. That's probably a little overkill, but no big deal. That is what you want to put inside your trap, and then save this for a little pre-baiting outside the trap, okay? Yeah, when you're all done, you can just see peel this off clean hands. You don't piss off Miss Daisy. Alright guys. I will take you along tomorrow. We'll slip in and um, look at the bait, bait pile. And I'm going to set up a camera. Then I'll come back in about two days. I'm thinking on Friday. I got to do babysitting Thursday for grandchildren. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday babysitting That'll give the camera two couple days to, to cook in there And I'll put a lot of corn in there and, and some more molasses to really sweeten it up and We'll leave that camera cooking for a couple days Come back and then I'll bring you along. We'll see what kind of critters we got on that on that cam All right guys, that's it for now uh Stop listening to them, guys. Vote accordingly. And uh, I will see you very soon. We'll get in the Critter Woods. See ya.